don't know what the event is going to unveil. Let's just guess every <laughs> Apple product. <laughs> It'll be a new computer, right. a new iPhone, or iPad, iPad, everything. Yeah. All right. It's still exciting. It is. I mean, me. I know you're into I it, I even know. though you don't have the Apple Watch yet. No, I don't. Another story. Yeah. They almost talked me into that. Margaret, really? really? Yes, almost. And then I went, no, like I really need this. <laughs> but there is something new possibly for tomorrow. What's a that? cold front. Henri. Henri. Oh, Henri. The potential for Henri. Okay, so here's the deal. The most active day in hurricane history happens to be September 10th. Tomorrow is September 9th, the anniversary of Betsy, which was September 9th, 1965. But we've got the potential for an Henri to develop. So that means so far we have had seven storms, one very strong hurricane, a Cat 3, that was Freddie. Henri possibly could develop tomorrow morning. Let's look at the forecast. Klotzbach and Gray had eight storms, and NOAA had six to ten storms with one intense. And in fact, we have had that intense hurricane. So let's look at what's happening. Now it's up to an 80% chance for tropical development. This could, in fact, be Henri in the morning. I was looking, looks like the center is just on the west side. There is some wind shear associated with this, but it is looking better organized, so uh, there may be an advisory in the morning. Then here is a look at Grace. Grace is really having a hard time. That's a good thing. Look, though, a little flare-up of activity recently right there. But the problem that Grace is having is the same problem all of these storms have had, dry air. And you can see how the clouds are moving. Those are strong winds aloft, and it's really been tearing them apart. So as we look at the forecast track, it's still over towards the Leeward Islands, but it could in fact be a remnant low tomorrow night or Thursday morning, and in fact it could dissipate altogether. Here is a look at the global forecast model. That's the American model, and a really good model. Takes it to the west and then dissipates it. There's been some talk about the potential that you could have something developing in the west gulf as that cold front that's going to be pushing through Saturday stalls. At this point, the global forecast model really not picking up on it. Here's a look at what's happening right now. That rain we had earlier has dissipated, but we do have an upper level low offshore, and you can see how it's pumping that moisture to the north. Plus, we've got this cold front that's to the north that's pushing southward. That's what's going to be pushing through by Saturday and will increase our rain chances, especially for Thursday, but more so for Friday and Saturday. Here's the forecast model for tomorrow, right around 1 o'clock, showing some thunderstorm activity and then into the afternoon as well. It's not going to be widespread. It's going to dissipate as we go into the evening hours. Just be aware of that. So what we have is the tropical moisture moving northward, that cold front pushing south. High temperatures tomorrow, upper 80s to the low 90s. And then as you go into Thursday, 40% chance of rain and storms. But for your Friday, as the cold front gets closer, it's about a 60% chance of rain and storms. So getting into a wet period. NOLA Spice Design says... Can he see his shadow? Will we have six more weeks of summer? I thought that was pretty funny. No, we won't. And then today, we of course had the sun and we had the rain. High temperatures today from the upper 80s to the mid 90s with your high at the airport 92 and across the area now. We're upper 70s to the low 80s. So here is a look. In the morning, we're going to be near 70 to basically the mid 70s. In the afternoon, climbing into the upper 80s to the low 90s. Thursday, the better chance of rain. Sat Friday as well. Saturday, that cold front moves through. And then cooler, drier air for your Sunday and for your Monday. In the morning, you're going to go, oh, it feels like fall. And then Tuesday, uh, yeah, rain and storms moving back in.